Here's a look at my computer. On my desktop, you'll notice a green icon that looks like a flame. That's Dragon Medical. Simply double click to open. A brief splash screen will appear and then the Dragon Bar will open. Now the Dragon Bar is the user interface of the application. It allows you to control Dragon. By default, it opens in what's called floating mode, which basically means you can move it around anywhere you want to. There are several positioning options within Dragon. For this demonstration, I'm going to dock it in what's called docked to top mode. The EMR that I've chosen to use for this demonstration is McKesson's Practice Partner. I have a shortcut on my desktop to launch the EMR. It's the blue icon that says Practice Partner. But because I already have Dragon Medical open, I've created a shortcut which will launch Practice Partner, then log me in. All I have to do is turn on my microphone and say, Log me into Practice Partner. As you saw, it opens the application, it enters my user ID and password, and brings me into Practice Partner. What we're looking at is the dashboard. Now this is where the provider can see all of their information, their schedule, messages, and other important information that relates to their practice. Let's show you how to navigate your EMR using Dragon Medical. Open Chart, Smith, OK, OK. This is an example of an electronic chart. What you want to look for is that there are several tabs within this patient chart. Each tab has a marker. The tabs with the blue markers indicate that there's information in that section, so it allows you to easily navigate and see what new information is listed about the patient. Now we can navigate through this entire program using commands. For example, show problem list, show vital signs, show last progress note, Show Chart Summary. Now I could have virtually gone into any section by manually clicking on one of those tabs using my mouse or keyboard, or I can do it completely by voice. The great thing about Dragon Medical, it was designed to work the way that you work. So if you want to use your mouse and keyboard, great. If you want to give commands to navigate, great. Now that you've seen some basic navigation techniques, let's show you some dictation techniques. Open Chart Emptner, Open Note, Left Ear Pain, New Paragraph. The patient presents today with a chief complaint of left ear pain. The patient states that he has had these symptoms for the past 12 days. He also stated that he had tubes in his ears when he was a child and has had several episodes of earaches in the past period. He also complains of low back pain, which he's had for several years from his work as a contractor period. His back pain is temporarily relieved by over-the-counter medications such as Advil and Tylenol period. The pain gets worse when he lifts weights at the gym or when he sits for an extended period of time period. He also states that the pain is worse at night. Now he has had these back pains for the last 12 years and has never done any physical therapy to help improve this condition, period. So let's take a look at what we just did. We quickly and easily documented detailed personalized information about this patient. And the best part is it's in your own words. Now can you imagine the time it would have taken to type all of that? That's, you know, another one of the powerful features of using Dragon, naturally speaking, within an EMR. Let's continue. New paragraph. Add new allergy. Sofa. New paragraph. Add new past medical history. 
repeated past history of otitis media, comma, lower back pain, and has been a diabetic since 1987, period. Go to end. New paragraph. Objective. Now I'm going to stop right there because I want to talk about custom commands and the use of macros to further increase productivity. So for those times where you have a normal exam and let's say that you want to eliminate the need for repetitive dictation, you can create these custom commands to insert blocks of text for you. An example would be general normal, heart normal, lungs normal, throat normal, nose normal. The right ear is clear with GM's translucent and is impacted, period. So you see by the use of those macros it inserts the block of text which speeds up the document creation process even more. Now there is no limit to the use of macros and or custom commands within your EMR using Dragon Medical. So if that whole block of text was a normal you could have just said objective normal and it would have inserted the entire thing. Let's continue. New paragraph. Assessment. Diagnosis otitis media. New paragraph. Diagnosis. Diabetes type 1. New line. Diagnosis. Scoliosis. New line. Plan. Otitis Media Education New Paragraph Exercise Counseling New Paragraph Diet Counseling New Paragraph New Med Amoxicillin 500 New Paragraph The patient is to return in two weeks if the condition does not improve, period. 99214 we turn off my mic again and continue. So you see how well and how much information we were able to insert into this one patient's report using Dragon Medical. So a lot of uh, additional information that we added, like the patient came in for left ear pain, but then during the consultation he realized, oh, I also have back pain. You know, you have a lot of scenarios like that. When you're typically working in an EMR, it may be hard to insert that information. Not with speech recognition, because you can simply dictate it. Let's go ahead and wrap this patient note up. Sign progress note. And you see, now that we're brought back to the patient chart, we can click on any of these tabs to see the new information. Again, the new information is represented by the blue color on the marker. So if I were to go into medications, for example, I can just select the tab, see the new information that we added, or select health maintenance, see that information, or again, go back to chart summary. The beauty is I can navigate verbally, or I can do it with my mouse and keyboard. And now you can see the added value of using Dragon Medical within an EMR. This will conclude our very brief demonstration of Dragon Medical version 10.1 used within an EMR.